Hi, I'm Stephen Han from Archery Supplies, and today I want to discuss fletching the Jet 6 vein. So the Jet 6 vein is different to your normal spin wing vein that you'll sort of see, curve vein. You can see it doesn't have as much curve, or hardly any curve. It's a lot lighter than this vein, in my view. Um, feels a lot lighter anyway. What's different about it is the curve here. This curve goes onto the shaft. So with a normal spin wing, this being a normal spin wing vein, you can see the edge is raised here because it's a curve. So the little edge is raised here. With the Jet 6 vein, you can see it fits um, dead around the curve because it's dead around the vein. So it's actually hugs the vein. It hugs, the vein hugs the shaft. So it's meant to stick on better. Now this is meant to give improved arrow flight. Um, it's meant to be more um, durable on the shaft. So I'm going to show you the, these are the arrows I've made up last night. So these are the jets in the 1.75. I haven't put, I haven't put tape on the front of them um, or back um, yet. I don't know if I will or won't, I just want to test them first. So that's the 1.75, this is the 2, and these are the current spin, spin wing veins I'm currently shooting. You can see these are a lot more rigid, um, where these are a lot softer. Um, so, fletching um, spin, spin wing veins, I'm using a wing thing fletching jig and I found it really improved my accuracy overall because I got a lot less inconsistencies as far as the angles of putting the veins on. So it made a huge difference to my scores. So the normal width spin wing clamp looks like this. And the spin wing just sort of fits in like so. And that's it. So you put the tape on, you stick it on, simple, right? Like a brilliant invention I can't speak highly enough highly enough of this vein and it made all the difference to me because before this basically I shot better scores with veins because I got the consistency of the veins being all identical every arrow being identical and without this jig I didn't have the same consistency now you can't use this vein thing with these spin wings and I'm, and lot my lord I wanted to so it would have to go in like this You were going to you'd put in like that but it didn't work the angles were wrong right so the inventor i think his name's jeremy and i'm sorry if, if i got it wrong um, <laughs> so the inventor of the wing thing brought one out for these veins directly so the bottom fits there the top fits into the top So it fits just like that. Now, while this looks good, Jeremy, Jeremy, the inventor of this, it's probably going to hate me. Um, I found it, it moved around a bit, like that. I found, like that, I found it wasn't hugging under here tight enough, and I really want this to be tighter on the vein. So I think when I fletched them last night, so the first thing is you've got to put the tape on. I found it easy to put the tape on outside of this because I found I got too much movement in this jig. With the normal spin wing veins, and doesn't matter which vein you use, it's easy to put the tape on in the jig. You put the, the jig in the bench like this, easy to put the tape on in here. Um, I found the vein moved too much in the Jet 6 wing thing, so I put the tape on the vein on the bench. I then move the vein into the jig and I pull the backing siding of the tape off. Now with the Jet 6 veins, the double-sided tape is not the size of the vein, so you've got to cut them with scissors. Um, with a lot of the other spin wings, they are the same size, so you don't have to cut. So I then pull the tape off 
and then use the jig to push these onto the shaft. Look, they come on really well. I question whether I got the same angle every time. So if I look at this one here, um, so this one, the tail looks out this way a little bit. So it's pushing that way. Where this one, it's pushing that way. So basically when I'm pushing on that the jet vane was basically up or back like that. So I was getting different variation when I stuck it onto the jig. Um, look, it wasn't too bad, but... And what you can notice is the gaps, the gaps between the jets. So here I had no gap, where here I've got gap and here I've got big gap. So I wasn't getting the same consistency. Mala. So I wasn't getting the same consistency with the Jet 6 that was a normal spin wing. And I think that was to do with the clamp not holding that, not holding the, the vein in place securely enough. So look, I'm sure, I'm sure he's tested it more than I have, but for me, I would like this holding it and I don't know how to adjust it so it holds it more in there. And I don't know if the Jet 6 vane has changed in the design from an old Jet 6 which this fitted as opposed to the new Jet 6. So I don't know what, I don't know if it's changed but I think I'm going to have to try drawing lines on the shafts or Jet 6 has a fletching jig which I didn't like the look of which we will go into really like the wing thing fletching jig for spin wings um but these are very unique so my next question for the next video i've made up the two inch and the 1.75 i'm interested to see how they shoot um, and how they compare to normal spin wings so we're going to shoot three of these three of these and three spin wings and see how they shoot i'm stephen ham from archery supplies thanks for watching